the title for the new album is called Dark Sky Island. It refers to the island of Sark, that's in the Channel Islands, and it's the first island that was designated a dark sky area. We take so long to put an album together that um, it's important to us to give ourselves the time in the studio. But it's meant that we had never really taken a break from the studio, a proper break. So when we finished uh, and winter came, we felt it was time to leave the studio for a while. Enya will initially start with the melody. Nikki and herself will work together on it. They'll start arranging. Then normally I come in at that point. I don't like to come in too early because sometimes what happens is if I come in with lyrics too early, they have a habit of changing their arrangement and it, often it doesn't suit the lyric I've put there. The other way around is that I come in slightly later, but by then they're quite used to having no words, just rough sounds. So it's always slightly harder for them to adjust to words. So there's always that little moment of tension, if you like, when words are introduced. So Enya's head is always full of melody, which is a great help. So because I'm a bit slow at starting, Enya will normally take a, a little time in the studio to herself. We have a particular setup where she can record directly herself. So she does demos of all the ideas she might have. You know, they could last 15 seconds, they could be three minutes long. But I rely totally on Enya's sense of melody to get anything going. And so, after a while, she'll play them back to me and we'll choose together uh, which wants to work on. I'm quite disciplined on the way I write music. I have all the ideas, but I'll go to the studio at a specific time. It's Monday to Friday and I'm there at 11 in the morning till like six in the evening. And I'll just sit there and I will just sit at the piano and will write. And there are days where there's nothing written, you know, even in a week, nothing written. But I always feel every day that I'm there is one step closer to writing that melody that I'm looking for. And you just know it by the first note, that's it, you go on this journey and it takes you. You, you have no idea what it's gonna be till you finish. It might be just a chorus, it might be a verse, uh, an introduction. It just, it's just, it's that moment that you know, I have a melody here. It's only the end of the album that um, we sit and we look at all the, the songs. And for all the albums, there's always a theme that will connect, even though the songs are very diverse in what they're saying, but there's always an element of a certain theme that you can follow through all the songs. And for this album, it would be the word journey. There's a journey, whether it's physical to the island, a sark, if it's um, the journey through um, an emotional journey to space, so this, this we felt was something that kind of was there linking all the songs, yet the stories that they're telling are very diverse. It's a song that talks about uh, the change that happens in, 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 within the universe. The, the clouds become rain, the water evaporates, it becomes a cloud, winds will come and go, uh, trees will fall, the fungi will 
recycle the trees. And so it's a song about this ever going recycling that is within the universe. But what was interesting about the song was when I wrote the melody, there's, there was a part that I hummed. And each time that part came, I would hum. And it was something that I felt very strongly about. It was Nikki then who sort of said, well, it kind of suits the song, the humming, because in the early universe, there was this natural humming. So that's where we felt it was perfect title for the song to call it The Humming. dedicated to Nikki's mother so I could find my way. When I moved to Dublin to work with Nikki and Roma, I got to know her very well. Mona was her name and uh, she passed away a few years ago. She was in her 90s, had a very full life and I got very close to her. And on writing the melody, I felt it was appropriate to, to dedicate the song to her. Um, it's a slow melody, very emotional, and this is something that is quite universal. When a mother moves on, you think about what she left behind in your life, and you're more aware of that when you know, your mother passes on as such, that that's what you'll always remember what her stories were, what she was hoping for you. It's really so, you know, that she was hoping you'd find your way so I can find my way. and Rain was actually the last piece we worked on for this album. Sometimes it happens, it happened with Watermark. The last piece you do is the one that celebrates the music the most lyrically. Orinoco Flow is the last one we did on Watermark and it's a sense of adventure. With this, it's more like you're coming home. It's that love you feel when you're approaching home. After being away for a long time, it's a long journey. You're traveling through night, through day. It's that beauty of finding your, your, your place again, your space again. I'm on the road, I know the way, everything flows, here comes another new day, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's a stage, you know, within uh, working on the album that you feel uh, you have to commit yourself to uh, a release date. You know, eventually you're gonna cross the T, dot the I, and this is going to finally um, be finished. So it's, it's, it, this is an element of excitement. Echoes in gray, drifting in waves, long journey home. To me, when I finish an album, it's like my first album again, because I can never take it for granted because of the gaps that I have between each album, that the same amount of listeners are there. The work in the studio is quite intense, and to then get feedback of that there are people waiting to hear the music, it's, it's something lovely to bring to the studio with you.